Hello YouTube and today we're going to be looking at this cordless Tesk Stap rechargeable 10 watt work lamp that I've recently just picked up via Amazon. It's a very compact lamp, it's 4.57 put by 4.55 by 2.8 inches deep. So very very compact size. Um, it's IP65 rated, so we've got waterproof and dust protection there, ideal outside use. Um, it comes with three power settings, or should I say two power settings and an SOS setting. Now the first setting is at 30% power. We've got the second one, that's a high 100% power, which is equivalent to, as the manufacturer states, 1000 lumen output and yeah the third one is the SOS now it takes around one and a half to two hours to fully charge up once it's depending on the discharge state it's charged up via this USB lead I think that's a USB-C connection at the end there um, yeah you've got the power settings on the back so that's charge state. Let me just flick that on for you. So that's your first setting at 30%. Second one, we're looking at about 100%. And that's our SOS setting. And switch it off again. Let's flick that off. Now, we can actually use it a few different ways. So we can illuminate the area. Um, one thing I do like, you can actually light something up below the lamp. So if you're working on something quite intricate, uh, close up there, you can actually get that right down the bottom there. You can see that. Um, I can flick that over for 45 degrees. We can actually use it that way. Turn it over, use it all different ways there. So you've got lots of different settings, little different angles to illuminate the area. Um, going to the back, we've got the hook. So we can actually hook that on a nail on timbers if you're working around timbers. Um, they seem to have thought of everything on this, really. If you look a bit closer up there, camera will pick those up. We've got the screw holes, so you can make it a more permanent feature in a shed or garage workshop. And we've got the magnets. Now the magnets are really strong actually. The only thing I'd say with the magnets, if we can try again and pick those up with a camera. If you look at the screw heads, the screw heads just tend to protrude a little bit further than they should. Um, I may actually grind those down just so they flush with the magnets. The reason I'm mentioning that, uh, if you're working on a car, uh, or if you're working on any paintwork, if you want to use it on anything that's a painted surface, I should say, it may scratch the surface. So you have to be very careful because they are strong magnets. But general use, it's been fine, fine with me. Um, I'll show you the magnetic power. As you can see a good strong grip with the magnets just be careful of the paintwork you know when you're releasing that and you don't scratch it with the screw heads um yeah now manufacturer states the working time of this lamp we're 100 we're looking at around five hours and at 30 percent we're looking at around 10 hours now i've been using it on a recent job up in a loft where i've been topping up insulation around the central heating pipes due to extremely cold weather and about two hours use probably lost one bar so yeah i think we're about right with that we're near enough with that uh, working time well turned out to be a great little lamp in that environment so what i'll do i've got some of that footage from the loft i shall put that on at the end of the video and you can just have a look at that how it uh, illuminated the corners of that loft for me now i think this is a great little lamp um ideal diy projects and um, working on your car you can easily throw this in your glove box it's not going to take a lot of space up 
Um, anybody that's into the camping as well, great lamp to take out and about with you. Very, very light, I think they're at uh, around 0.425 kilograms. So anyway, now's a good time before I put that footage up to say, I do appreciate all my present subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Please give us a like if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. And as always, guys, take care and I'll see you on the next video.